Hello, hello everybody. This is Mommy with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I am going to put together an arrangement for the church. We had a special order of a dozen roses for their altar arrangement. So that's what we're going to do. This is actually the liner that goes in the urns at the church. So I just dropped it in one of our containers just so that it would, um, it would stand up and it won't fall over on me. So I have taken a full block of fresh floral foam and I've taken just a small extra piece and cut it and tucked it in just to give us um, give us enough stability on the foam. And then we taped it in with waterproof tape. So now I'm going to green out the arrangement. I'm going to start out with some jade. So this is just a palm leaf. I'm going. Let me tell you one trick. When you go to make an arrangement in floral foam, this is going to be a one-sided arrangement. It's going to sit on the altar. Always work in the very back of the foam. As far back in the foam as you possibly can is what, where you're going to place your greenery. So I'm going to take my knife, cut my greenery, and I am going to stick it as far back in that foam as possible. Now what this is going to do is keep this arrangement from tilting forward. We're putting some weight on the back of the container or the back of the um, arrangement so that our arrangement, when you get all the flowers in it, won't, won't tilt forward. Now, I will say this container that this is going in is a very sturdy container. Usually with a church arrangement in their urns, you don't have any problems with it staying standing. But sometimes if you do like a funeral basket, it'll fall forward. So you have to be careful and make sure that you disperse the weight of the arrangement um, well by placing flowers towards the back. So I'm just taking my greenery and I'm greening out this container. I'm gonna move this greenery so you can see a little better. So you kind of green it out in a fan-shaped um, arrangement. Someone asked the other day why I use jade so much. I've just always used jade. Um, I just find it's fairly inexpensive and it gives me the look that I'm looking for. Um, there are plenty of other types of foliage. Um, I'm not saying this is the only type you can use because you know there's so many types out there. This is just the type that we use the most. Okay, I'm going to turn my arrangement around. And you can see how my foam is showing here. I'm going to take a few pieces of this greenery and cover the back side. And I just broke that piece, so I'm just going to take it. Tuck that in. You always want to make sure that you cover those mechanics. It's just important that you cover your mechanics. I'm going to take a little bit of leather leaf. have to really be pretty back here. I just don't want the foam to show if anybody stands behind it. You want it covered, okay? I'm going to turn my arrangement back around and I'm going to add a little bit of leather leaf in the front. Just helping me fill in. And really, you can use any types of foliage that you would like. Um, you can't really go wrong with foliage. going to grab a little bit of plant shine real quick. I don't like how that palm was sticking down so. So I took it and trimmed it up. 
and then the small piece that I cut off, I'm just tucking right there in the center. I'm gonna grab some plant shine and shine my plant. Okay, this is called Green Glow. And Green Glow is just a plant shine that um, it just kind of takes the dullness off of my foliage. And it just makes it a little prettier to me. Next, what I'm going to do is come in with my red roses. Now, I have already wired each of these roses. Um, and what that's doing is just holding their little heads up straight. Um, and because it's going in foam, you just want to make sure that they're, all their little heads stand up. I always like to start with the top rose first, the tallest flower first. And then I kind of come down in a diamond shape. rows that doesn't look pretty, just go ahead and pop those off. eucalyptus that I want in the arrangement and you can see it's just such a pretty foliage. Next I'm going to come in with some filler flower um, and this is going to give me a little bit more height in this arrangement and just a little more color I think. Well, I can get it in there. there we go. And it's going to just kind of fill in around those roses.
right. Move all of this out of your way so you can kind of see what it looks like. And there we have um, a dozen roses arranged in an altar um, container for church. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. If you have any questions about the flower shop or how we make arrangements, don't hesitate to ask those in the comments. We are happy to answer any kind of questions you might have. And if you like these videos, you can certainly subscribe to our channel or check us out over on Facebook. We do lots of videos. Um, we do videos every day on Facebook, so check us out over there. Guys, have a wonderful day. We'll see you real soon. Bye.